Hey guys, it's Korosum here and today we are going to learn about callbacks and it is much easier than you think. So let's get started. This thing called callbacks or callback functions came with the concept of asynchronous programming. Asynchronous programming is, by the way, when, let's say, the execution of the functions is independent from the main program flow. So let's say the other functions don't have to wait until a certain function is done executing. So that basically what asynchronous programming is. In contrast, synchronous programming is when other functions waits until a certain function is done executing. So the entire application has to wait until all the functions are done executed. In JavaScript, this asynchronous programming concept is pretty much important because most of the JavaScript applications pull data from backends. So the functions can take a while to complete. Your entire application doesn't want to wait until that particular function is done executing. So your application might get pretty slow. So you don't want to do that. So that's why these callbacks are introduced in JavaScript. So as the name suggests, these callback functions are the functions that is executed after a certain function is done executing. In JavaScript, you can treat functions as objects. So just as the way you can pass object as arguments to a function, you can pass functions as arguments of another function. So that's the way we use callback functions. Just don't worry if this is confusing. We're going to use a practical example and we'll see how and why callbacks are used. Let's say I am developing an application. And when a user clicks a button, I need to get some data from the API. So when the user clicks the button, the first thing I need to do is to show a loading screen. Then I need to pull the data from the API. Then I need to hide the loading screen and show the data. So that's the scenario. For that, I'm going to need three functions. The first function I'm going to write is a function for lo showing the loading screen. Let's write that function first. Function. I'm going to name this function show loading screen. All right, and I'm going to do a console log with the string load in screen appeared. So this is my function for showing the load in screen. And I'm going to need another function for hiding the load in screen when, when the data is ready. I'm going to write that function too. I'm going to name that function hide loading screen. And I'm going to do a console log with loading screen hidden like this. Now I'm going to write another function for pulling the data from the API. I'm going to name this get data from API. So this function pulls data from a backend or API. So the functions like this can take a while to finish its execution because the backend API can be hosted in a separate server. So there can be a slight delay until the data is ready. So we need to simulate that in our function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a console log with the string of start pulling data. 
I'm gonna write another console log with the string of finished pulling data so there can be a slight delay between these console logs uh, in order to delay this second console log I'm going to use this uh, set timeout function in JavaScript and I need to put this console log inside that and I'm gonna use uh, 2000 milliseconds which mean 2 seconds so the second console log will execute after 2 seconds of the first console log that's how it works now this function is like a real API call because it takes some time to finish the execution now let's execute these functions according to the order we want them to execute when the user clicks the button the first thing I need to do is show the loading screen so first I need to execute show loading screen function like this and secondly what I need to do is I need to run get data from API function and the third thing I want to do is I need to hide the loading screen when the data is ready like this so first I need to see a loading screen then I need to in the background I need to run the get the data from the API function then once the data is ready I need to hide the loading screen so the user will see the data and to make it clear I'm gonna number these console logs so the first one is loading screen appeared then started pulling data and finish pulling data the last one is number four loading screen hidden so we want our console logs to appear in this order let's run this code and let's see what happens As you can see, we get the first two console logs correct order, but for the third one, we get number four, and for the fourth one, we get number three. Loading screen disappeared even before data is ready. So that's not what we want, right? We want our loading screen to hide when the data is finished loading. But in this case, our loading screen disappeared even before the data is ready. Why is that? Well, this is because this get data from API function took a while to complete. So this is where asynchronous programming comes in. This is where we want callbacks. So let's fix this issue with the callback function like I said in JavaScript you can treat functions as objects so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pass a parameter to this get data from API function and I'm gonna name that parameter callback you can name it uh, with whatever you want and this parameter can be a function so I'm gonna call this function callback function right after uh, when the application finish pulling data like this and instead of calling this hide loading screen function uh, like this I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna pass that function as the argument of get data from API just like this so we pass our function hide loading data screen function as the 
argument of get data from API function. So we call that function once it's finished pulling out data. So that's uh, what happens here. Now let's test this again and let's see what happens. Yes, now we get all four console logs in the correct order because now this hide loading screen function is called as the callback function of get data from API. Actually, you don't have to define this hide loading data screen function and instead you can just pass an anonymous function to this get data from API function like this or an arrow function like this. Hide loading screen. Let's test this again. Yeah, we get the result we want. So guys, that's everything about callbacks. Callbacks are really important when you are dealing with these kind of scenarios. Especially when you are using something like Node.js, you may want to use so much of callback functions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please let me know if you have any concerns or questions. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.